The COVID-19 pandemic started last year and infected millions. I saw the direct impact on my community, especially my high risk and vulnerable neighbors. It motivated me to do my part to slow the spread of this COVID-19 pandemic and save lives. Introducing Six Feet Apart, a wearable social distancing device to simplify and quantify social distancing. I built this device embedded in a hat using the latest developments in ultrasonic technology, infrared imaging, and artificial intelligence to ensure the user would maintain safe social distance according to the CDC's guidelines. Here's a quick look into how Six Feet Apart works. The hat sends short pulses of ultrasonic waves out into the environment. So when a person comes within the six foot detection range, these waves refract back into the sensor of the device and the user receives live haptic and acoustic feedback to alert them that they're in the range of unsafe social distancing. These alerts also go out via Bluetooth on the six feet apart mobile app that I coded myself. If you don't wanna wear a hat, I also embedded the same technology into an armband for on the go safety and a lanyard for students and professionals. COVID-19 is a challenge unique to this time, but I don't believe it will be the last. We will encounter other unfamiliar challenges and my generation must be a part of creating solutions for them. Many of my peers, however, don't believe they have the ability to build meaningful solutions, but I think they can. After all, the greatest innovators are just like you and I. The difference is they've channeled their focus to accomplish extraordinary things. What we need is a roadmap or a framework to innovate. Throughout my innovation journey, I've used a simple three-step process for all my inventions and devices. And I believe that anyone can use this as their framework. The three steps are identify, innovate, and impact. The first step identify is all about understanding the problem. Choose a problem that you're most passionate about solving. Personally, I look for problems that have a large scope where a solution will impact as many people as possible, but is also feasible for me to solve. I work to truly understand the problem by stepping into the shoes of the people experiencing it, using the mental model of first principles thinking to ask why over and over again until I can't ask why anymore. It's impossible to solve every branch of a problem, so we must break it down into smaller, solvable chunks to address it. In building Six Feet Apart, I looked for the root causes of the rapid spread of the COVID-19 pandemic and dove deeper into the aspect of person-to-person -person transmission. If we break down a problem like COVID-19 into its sub-problems, we can begin analyzing the root causes and creating lasting and impactful solutions. We can see that the spread of COVID-19 is not a root problem in itself, it's an outcome. I'm also really passionate about researching to build up an understanding of a topic, starting with simple videos and increasing in complexity to research papers and speaking with industry experts. But most of all, you don't have to be an expert in a field to innovate. You only need enough knowledge to build your innovation and continue learning along the way. The second step, innovate, is perhaps the most important step of them all. Innovation is an iterative process and going back to the drawing board is all part of the learning. It's normal to get really excited about working with a cool technology or technique, but we should only use methods that actually address a problem. Instead of looking for ways to apply a technology like AI, I learned to first solve a problem regardless of what technology is used. Once you've picked your initial approach, build it, test it, get feedback on it, and go back to the drawing board to reiterate and improve your solution. By deploying your solutions out into the real world, you can begin to impact lives today. The last step, impact, is all about spreading awareness and sharing your work because the exposure enables you to find future mentors, collaborators, and organizations to work with. Mentorship has always been a huge catalyst for my innovation journey. My mentors inspire me to solve big problems and constantly give me opportunities to grow. To all the adults out there, I challenge you, pass on your wisdom. Who knows, the next person for whom you open a door might go on to be a future innovator. 
For the past couple of years, I've been running innovation workshops with museums, schools, and companies to raise awareness of STEM in youth and build the next generation of problem solvers and innovators. Through my global virtual and in-person outreach, I've directly impacted over 22,000 students and industry leaders. This process has worked for me and I've created over five different inventions using it, including Mobile Me, a device and app to prevent mobility loss and falls in the elderly using artificial intelligence and predictive analytics. And I'm working on a couple of new innovations to diagnose diseases at an early stage using the latest developments in biomarkers. I am just a teenager, but by using this process, I'm able to create so many different solutions to real world problems. Some of my innovations have gained recognition from the NASDAQ, New York Times, ABC, and more. And I share this to highlight just how much society values young innovators. Our generation is just beginning to embrace innovation. Gen Z already knows what problems to care about, but they just don't know how to channel their passion into tangible solutions. We need to empower all youth to get involved with innovation. What we need is an all hands on deck approach to solving not just COVID-19, but also climate change, threats to cybersecurity and to human rights. Even as these and many other challenges may seem insurmountable, my generation also has access to so many new tools and technologies like artificial intelligence, 3D printing, virtual reality, blockchain, and more. We need to expose kids to STEM at an early age so that society can gain more innovators and problem solvers working towards the same common goal. Together, we can create a rich innovation ecosystem to foster ingenuity and problem solving. Now more than ever, we have the power to harness cutting edge science and technology to create positive change in our communities. With more people involved in the innovation process, the more problems we can solve and the faster we'll be able to do it. Having the innovation ecosystem is the biggest thing we can do and youth are such a critical part of that ecosystem. We need youth alongside adults and organizations solving problems, creating change and innovating to create that better world for all of us. To everyone in my generation, I challenge you, find a real world problem that you're passionate about and get involved today. Put your passion and creativity towards solving these problems Get started now with frameworks like my three-step process to guide you and use whatever tools you can access. Just start somewhere. Take that first step and the journey will be so rewarding.